7.2, here we go, which is all about estimating quotients. Remember, the quotient is the answer to a division problem. So we're just going to be estimating some division problems. So two I can statements today. Hopefully by the end you'll be able to say I can explain how to estimate quotients of multi-digit numbers. And I can estimate quotients of multi-digit numbers to determine if calculations are reasonable and to make predictions about a calculated solution. So remember, we use um, estimating or rounding to figure out if the answer I got makes sense and also to predict like what do I think this answer is going to be closest to or just to figure out about how much I need because I don't always need an exact answer. So the problem we'll be looking at. A school collected 3,000 bottles of water to be packed into boxes. What are some ways to estimate the number of boxes needed? Now notice each box holds 24. So I'm taking 3,000, I'm splitting them up into groups of 24. That's what makes it a division problem. So how can we estimate 3,000 divided by 24? Well, the first way is to use rounded numbers. So that's the first thing to put in your notes. I know the line's really long. I just figured I'd give you lots of space. We can use rounded numbers to estimate the quotient. So we can just round like normal. Now, just know this way does not always work, so that's why I'm going to also show you a different way. So if we round 24 to the nearest 10, then we get 20. So then I'm just doing 3,000 divided by 20. Like we did in the last lesson, we can use patterns to help us. In this case, I, I want to do 30 divided by 2. Because if I just did 3 divided by 2, that doesn't work. So 30 divided by 2 is 15. Cancel out a 0. So then I have 1 0 left. So I figure, okay, the answer is going to be about 150 boxes. So that's a 20. And then we're dividing it like I just showed. We got 150. So they need about 150 boxes. So the other way to do it is by using, we can use compatible numbers. You can add this, or I made up this term, special rounding. Because it's not official rounding, it's finding a number that is close that works with that dividend, that first number. Because sometimes official rounding gets weird, and you'll see why. Um, so if I think about, okay, well, what is close to 24 that goes with 3,000 or goes with 30? If I just look at the first part, oopsies. Well, I can say, oh, 24 is close to 30. And I can do 3,000 divided by 30, right? That's pretty simple. In this case, I can even just do 3 divided by 3 is 1. Cancel out a 0. I have two zeros left, so it's about 100. So 24 doesn't officially round to 30, but using special rounding, because it goes with 3,000 so nicely, that's why I use it. It's called a compatible number. They go well together. Now this, because it's rounding or estimating, there's not always like, this is the correct way to do it. So just know there is some flexibility in what you choose because it's all just to help you figure out what it's going to be close to. So notice the calculated quotient is 125. My estimates were 150 and 100. So it's right in that, in that same range. Just like with multiplication, our estimates aren't always like one or two numbers off. It's okay that it's a little farther away. So here, I could round a couple of different ways. So if I have 4,000 divided by 16, well, officially, if I round 16 to the nearest 10, I'm going to get 20. So I could do 4,000 divided by 20. Here, my basic fact is 4 divided by 2. So I get 2. That 0 cancels out. So it's about 200. 
Is 4,000 divided by 16 going to be exactly 200? Nope, but it'll be close. The other way is actually if I rounded it down, because I know that 4,000, 16, I could just say, well, you know what? I'm just going to go to 10, because it's close, and I know 10 goes with 4,000 or goes with 40 really well. So then I just have to do 4 divided by 1 is 4, cancel out the 0, and I have two zeros left. So I know my answer is going to be somewhere between 200 and 400, which, yes, is a big range. But if I get like 2,000 as my answer, I know that's probably not right. Let's do some practice. On these ones, I'm just going to have you type in your answer, and then you can compare and see uh, if it's close to what you got. Because, or what I got. Because there's not just one right answer. There might be a couple of different options. So, first one, go ahead and try and estimate, remember, 2,400 divided by 34. All right, let's see if what you got is close to what I get. So, one option, if I officially rounded that to the nearest 10, it'd be 30, right? Because 4 tells me to round down. So, I can do 2,400 divided by 30, while 24 divided by 3 is 8. Cancel out the 0, so I get 80. So if you put 80, nice, that's a great estimate. Another option is to say, ah, well 34 is close to 40, and I know that 4 goes with 24 really well. So you might have to do some looking on your chart to say, okay, if I just took the 24, what goes with that? What goes into 24? Oh, 4 does, so I know it's a compatible number. Because 24 divided by 4 is 6. Cancel out a 0. I still have a 0 left. So 60 is also a good estimate if you got that. Either one is about what they are close to, what the answer is close to. All right, 3,500 divided by 65. Go ahead. All right, let's see if what you got is close to what I get. So in this case... Let's just, um, well, I'll show you some different things. So if I just round it to the nearest 10, I'm going to get 70, right? Because the 5 means that I'm going to round up to 7. The 6 goes up to 7. 3,500 divided by 70. Well, 35 does go with 7 very nicely. So I'm going to get 5, right? Because of how many 7s go into 35 is 5. Cancel that out. And then just one zero left. Now that's really the best option is 50. Because if I like rounded this down to 60, like 6 doesn't really go with 35. So in that case, the official rounding is also the compatible number. Now say it had been divided by 62 instead, and I had tried rounding and gone, okay, 35 divided by 60 35 divided by 6, ooh, that doesn't work. Just move on to the compatible numbers, okay? If the rounding doesn't work, which it sometimes won't, that's okay. All right, for example, go ahead and give 4,800 divided by 86 a try. All right, you might have gotten stuck with the rounding part of it. Because um, if I round this officially to 90, and then I do 4,800 divided by 90, and I say, okay, 48 divided by 9, I'm like, wait a second, that doesn't work. Because if I count by 9s, I'm not going to get to 48, okay? So then we can just scrap that and say, let's find a compatible number instead. If I look and I say, what goes with 48? that's close to 86, oh, 80 does. Because if I look for a 48 on my chart, I'll see 8 times 6, 48 divided by 8, 8 times 6 works, so then the zeros cancel, and I'm left with just one zero. I get 60. So 60 is a good estimate. Now, there's other options and other ways to round um, 
But just know that like if the official rounding doesn't work, just try finding a number that's close. Even if it's not like technically how you'd round, as long as they go well together, then it's okay. It's just compatible. It's fine to change it a little bit. Okay, if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. Good luck.